Hey everyone, Selwyn here for Wind Strength. On today's video, I want to talk about training periodization and how it can help you uh, stop asking the question if, if you should do this or that and answer the question how I can do this and that. Um, so basically, the point of periodization in training is to schedule your training over the course of the year. Much like we have a schedule for life, uh, we really want to break up our training into different segments so that we can control uh, how what we're doing as well as be a little bit more efficient with our time and effort in the gym. Uh, for the most part, it's hard to attain two goals at once. Uh, at the start, this is very easy, but once you start you know, getting into two to four years of training and up, it starts to get a little bit more complex and we start adding a layer of complexity known as periodization to our training so that we can attack multiple goals over the course of a longer time frame. So, for example, um, it's hard to simultaneously lose weight and gain weight. You're either, maintain, you, you're either gaining weight, maintaining weight, or losing weight. You can't both lose weight and gain weight at the same time. It's physically impossible. Uh, so that's one drastic difference that you can't achieve. Uh, another one would be a bit more nuanced is uh, building muscle and getting stronger in like one rep max strength. So for the most part, you can do both at the same time, but it will be slightly more efficient if you attack one of those, if, you, if one of those has a higher priority in your training. Uh, just because there are little things that you do differently to achieve one that really aren't conducive to uh, the other goal. So for example, if I'm doing uh, one rep max training for powerlifting, I don't necessarily need to worry about my back strength as much during the times where I'm trying to focus on building squat, bench, deadlift, uh, any other, if, if I'm training for me, those are the three movements that take priority over all other movements because that's what I'm competing in. Or even if you're not competing, if that's really what you're focusing on for that period of time, whatever it is, those are the three movements that you really need to spend most of your time with. Um, and that's movement specific. Now we look at like volume specificity. For the most part, we need to be training in that, you know, five reps and under range so that we can both train the specificity of one rep max training and build the body to, it doesn't really need to execute strength in terms of, you know, 10 plus reps because that's a different execution of physical energy systems. Now we flip that around. If you're looking at building muscle, we don't really need to worry about our one rep max training because heavy lifting isn't the best way, single heavy rep lifting isn't the best way to put on muscle. Uh, we can have a rep range anywhere from three to 30 reps, uh, three to 30, you know, that's a pretty wide range in whatever kind of is more conducive to your style of training or your personality, your, your just personal preferences for training. It gives you a wide range to achieve on because for the most part, uh, volume and time under tension is what's gonna drive uh, hypertrophy and building muscle. So yes, we're lifting weights. We're, yes, we're lifting heavy weights for random amounts of reps and time. But when you get down to the nuances of it, one is slightly different to the other and it's harder to achieve both simultaneously because we only have finite hours and finite energy. If we had infinite energy and all the time in the world, it wouldn't matter. We could just do everything all the time because it wouldn't, that there is no constraint. But given these limited constraints, we need to look at breaking up the year into chunks so that we can focus on certain goals over the other. That doesn't mean we ignore other goals for a long time. It might just mean we ignore them for six months and then the next six months we focus on something else. And this comes down to not just goals, but also movements too. If you're reading about, you know, should you do high bar squat or low bar back squat? Both back squats, you can probably alternate between the two of them depending on uh, the goal of that time. What's more conducive to your training? Maybe you're in a hypertrophy phase, so maybe a high bar back squat is gonna be more applicable to high to volume training, whereas a low bar back squat might be a little bit more applicable to one rep max training. Just because of the way the leverages work, for the most part, most people can squat slightly more weight with a low bar back squat, all other things being equal. Um, maybe you're training it in your house and you don't have access to a leg extension machine and you're in a hypertrophy phase, what do you do? Maybe you shift to front squats and you kind of put back squats on the back burner, as it were, and focus on quad development via front squat, via front squatting. That'll prioritize front squats and because your back's in a more upright position, more forward knee travel, you're gonna be able to hit those quads a little more than you can with a back squat of any type. Uh, so 
rather than saying, you know, front squat's better than a back squat, this or that, nothing's really better than anything else. It's really better suited for different goals and different outcomes. So when you look at structuring your training year into different segments, structuring your training year to attack different goals at different times, uh, it will probably help you be a little bit more efficient and a little bit more effective in your training to get those goals a little bit quicker uh, than you could if you tried to do everything all at once. Hopefully that helps you. Just puts a forward look on your training. Don't kind of look at training the here and now. Look at training in the long run. Look at how you will structure your training over maybe even two to three years. Uh, Olympic athletes have a four year cycle of training because that's how often they compete at that, at that level. This has been Sound from Wind Strength and remember, a better life through strength.